Don't let her out, puppy. my chickens up to the barn. Now Echo Pop wants to stay with him all the time. He's all, he's up at the barn trying to find a way in. Sorry Pop, we got it all sealed up. What are you doing? All right, so the Yeager survived their first night. I did a little bit of rearranging here in the coop just to make it a little bit better for him. Puppy, you can't see your Yeagers, can you? Get up on your block. Now you can see your eggers. So what I did was I added a baby cakes for give them something to do and I just strung it from some baling twine from the rafters here. I hung up our feeder so it's at a good height and they're not pooping in it anymore. I kept this piece of plywood in here to keep it kind of clean of shavings in their water. They're gonna poop all over it but nothing really I can do about that. Echo. You're gonna have to be quiet. I'm trying to talk here, bud. Their perch, I don't think they like it too much. It's a little narrow for them, but it gave them something until I can get in there and give them something else. But I moved this box over to this side because this is the door that I use to get in and out, and the box is right here, so I moved it over there so I still have access to get in and out. And uh, yeah, put a board in the corner just so they don't get trapped in the corners. Put a stone on the box so it doesn't collapse. And I think they're all set up pretty good in here. I'm puppy. Puppy can't get in there to eat them. They're liking that baby cakes already. Giving them something to do. I have this scratch grains that I'm just going to toss around for them to find and eat and forage for. Yeah. Just so they get the hang of pecking down at the ground and find, finding something to eat. Poppy, Echo, Dempin, you're too loud. We have some nights coming up that are gonna be down to 30 or maybe even below. So hopefully these acres are gonna be comfortable up here. I might do something on that coldest night here, Sunday night, Sunday night that's gonna be probably down below 30. I might bring something up here that's gonna be a source of heat for a while, maybe boil a river rock or maybe even uh, bring up a battery heater just to give them a couple hours of heat. If they really need it, they can curl up next to the heat. They like that scratch grain. I just threw that down there and they're all going at it. I have this long one by three and uh, I think I might try and get it in there for a perch. There we go, I just threw that one by three on top of that rack and I weighted it down with some rock, propped it up with a concrete block there and that should work out for them if they wanna get up a little bit higher and perch. Good boy. Good boy, puppy. Switching out their water. Get rid of that board. Old rubber bowl that I'm putting underneath it so it raises it up. And puppy's trying to get in close with the chicks. Huh, buddy? I'm trying to get him comfortable with these chicks because he is just always so stressed when I come out here. Just absolutely shaking. But, uh... I think he just wants to get to know him, my oh, buddy. All right, now I think I might be done fiddling around with their little environment here. They got a perch, they got clean water, clean food. They got a little baby cake suet cake to peck at and swing on. And then they got a little box to huddle in if it gets too cold for them out here. If there's anything else you guys think I need up here, a dust bath. Yeah, I don't have my dust bath out here yet, but I need to sift some more sift some more wood ash from the wood burner. And then I can get a dust bath up here. Trying to get all the chicken brooders all cleaned up and thrown down into the compost. 
like the nice thick layer of chips in here from the couple weeks that they were in here. Pup's getting it all checked out. Coming to check on the girls and they're all huddled up in the corner with the rocks. And we have two barred rocks up on the perch. Puppy, you maintain a good distance. I don't want to confuse them too much. They're thinking it's light, it's daytime. I just wanted to come up and see if they were using their perch or not. It still looks like it's about 50 degrees in here, so we should be pretty good for them. It's going down to, I think, 32 tonight. So hopefully they'll be good with their box. And uh, I'll see you girls in the morning. Buddy. Good boy, puppy. Good boy. Buddy, don't touch. Don't bite, puppy. Don't bite. Good boy, buddy. You're doing good. Buddy. Just relax, buddy. It's okay. Where are you going, Spot? Puppy is doing great inside with the chicks right now. Put him in there because he's been whining like crazy. And he's been being good, but he's just been whining like crazy. Like he wants to be in with them instead of separate from them. So I'm giving him the chance to be a good boy. Yeah, pup, you be a good boy. Stay here. Now he's, he knows he's allowed in now. He's getting a little free, huh, pup? You be good, pup. Ow, don't bite me, Eggers. Don't bite. Stay here. These are the these are the braver chicks, puppy. Leave the scaredy chicks over there. Don't bother them yet. Yeah. You're doing good, buddy. I'm really happy puppy's being a good boy with these Eggers. I wanted him to be able to be nice with them, be a good dog, so I don't have to leave him outside the pens or anything while I tend to the animals. I wanted him to come in with me because I do everything with puppy and uh, he doesn't do anything without me. So I'm glad that he's being nice to the eggers and I don't have to keep him out or watch him as much as uh, some of the other dogs that might be coming around the property. Oh puppy, you're being a good boy, yeah. I just have the door cracked for him so he can see him. I don't want him walking all around in there because then he gets dirty with chicken poop on him. but. I want to be able to see them get close and be able to sniff them. I want the eggers to be comfortable with them, coming up to them without... Puppy, you're going to have to do something about that whining though, buddy. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, that's a little bit too much talking, pup. You don't need to talk that much. Shush. I want the eggers not to be terrified of them too. He's one of the lines of defenses. Plus, he being around here would just keep some of the predators away, just having a dog here. We don't really get coyotes here on property, but we never really had the chickens here to draw them in. So we'll see how that goes this year. So the biggest predators are gonna be the raccoons probably, maybe some stray cats, and uh, the, co the coyote don't really echo. Shush, it's enough. Yeah, I think it'll be all right here. Pup's one of their defender defenders, and you already got some of the stray cats, huh, Pup? We're gonna shut the door on you, Eggers. Get back in there. Oh, I scared her. She was trying to get that last little piece. Oh well. Shutting the gate. They are able to use that as a little bit of a perch. And if they don't like it, they can hop up on the board for a flatter surface, but they still end up using it. No Barty. So you girls are using your perch, are ya? <laughs> yeah, 
This is a wild flower that grows up here at the barn and it comes up every year and it's pretty much the, one of the first things to bloom. I just love having it up here. It comes up wild. It's right off the corner of the barn here. And uh, it's just nice to have. Got some acres on the out. Got Bonnie, Spot, and Bernadette. I don't know how to tell the barred rocks apart, but there is one barred rock that always comes up to see me. I'll keep you inside there, Bonnie. I don't need you pooping all over the barn. Good boy. You herded them back in. Good boy. I don't know. He'll figure it out. Hopefully I can get him to help me with these chickens, but right now he just needs to learn to calm down, huh? You just need to learn to calm down around the chickies. Thinking that one is a Moran with the nicer coloring. Because I have the black Australorp as well. And I already have three that are completely black. So I'm thinking that other one that's black with highlights Echo. is probably a Moran. Buffy. So it is hailing out here, trying to bring out some trays to the greenhouse. And you can see we got some hail. You can hear it too. Coming up here to check on the agers because it's pretty cold out here. It's just hailing. I was taking out my plants to the greenhouse and it was getting hailed on. And the agers are all tucked into their box, which is good to see that they're, they know to go into the small area and they stay warmer in there all condensed in a tight area holding their body heat all inside that box set all out here it is 46 or 48 hard to see puppy don't get up there i don't want you scaring them puppy i want you scaring them doing aggers yep they're all huddled in their box see if i can get the camera in there Got all the eggers tucked away in their box, staying warm. It's real good to see. Puppy, you leave them eggers alone. What you doing, eggers? They're coming out now. Puppies scared them. They got food and they got water. I was just coming up here to check on them. Socialize a little bit. Puppy gets real excited these days to come see the chicks. You stay back, pup. Hey, eggers. Mud eat, pup. Mud eat. Come on, eggers. Trying to give them a call. Mud eat. Trying to give them a call whenever I give them these treats for the five grains and feed them out of my hand. I want to try and get them associated to my voice and calling them eggers. So whenever I give them treats like this out of my palm, I just keep repeating, Come on, eggers. Come on, eggers. And uh, hopefully later on that will come in handy. Pop. Back up. Too close, buddy. There's Bonnie. There's your friend. See your friend Bonnie? Some of them like eating out of my hand and some of them like eating off the ground, but they are coming over and they're getting used to me is what they're doing. So that's what I'm trying to do. Give them some grains for a while and uh, get them used to me. Bonnie, don't be leading the charge on the escape. Echo, hold your ground. Don't let her out, puppy. 
Don't let her out, puppy. Hold your ground, pup. Keep her in. Hold your ground, buddy. Don't back off. Come here. Come here. Keep her in. Oh, don't. Oh, she's passing you, puppy. You're not doing your job. Echo, come. Come. Echo, come. Around. 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 Knee, <laughs> puppy. Come on. Around. Around. Come here. You're doing good, buddy. I don't want to force you. You just sniff her butt. Whoa, girls. What are you doing? I don't know. Bonnie's just... Bonnie's her own chick pup. She's just going to go off on her own. I don't want the rest of them charging out there, though. They'll just make a mess. That's why I gotta keep you inside. Get back in there. Here you go. Here you go, girls. Come here, Eggers. Come here, Eggers. Come here, Eggers. Good girls. This black beak's gotta be a buff. Look how poofy she is. Puppy, what are you whining about? Is Bonnie still out of her place? Bonnie, it's cold out here. What are you doing? I don't think I spilled... Echo. Echo. That's enough. I don't think I spilled any grain out here, Bonnie. Puppy, get her back in. Echo, get her back in. Go around. Bring her in. Come on, pup. Get her in. Go see. Don't bite. Don't bite. No, I didn't say eat her. I said go go see. Bring. No, no. Well, I guess if I tell him to bring, he's going to try and bite her and bring her in. Come here, Bonnie. Come on, Bonnie. You're stressing him out. You're stressing him out, Bonnie. Come on. Come on. Me! What heat. He really thinks they're his whenever I pick them up. Let's put you back in there, Bonnie. What eat, pup? What eat, pup? You relax. So puppy's trying to be good with these chicks. I mean, he's, he's having a hard time sometimes, but he's doing really good by not eating these chickens yet. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with them. Got a couple flying up on their perch. And, uh, puppy's just got to learn that these chicks are his friends now, and uh, he's got to not eat these chicks, huh, buddy? Bonnie just likes to escape. Look at her. She's running right out of the gate. Every chance she gets, she's just out and gone. What are you doing, buddy? You stalking her? Puppy, bring her back in here. Come on, Bonnie. Good boy, good boy, go around. Come here, Bonnie. Come here, Bonnie. How are you, Bard Rocks, doing? <laughs> yeah, they don't like being petted. They're okay with me being here, they just don't want to be touched. Which, uh, that's fine, I guess. I got my Bonnie. Right, puppy? Don't eat Bonnie, puppy. Puppy. Be mad at you if you eat Bonnie. Uh-uh. She's not food. Knee. No. Uh.
How you doing, buddy? I was just petting a chicken. I think this is one of the Morans. So the chicks have been doing pretty good, no problems at all since they've been moved up here to the barn. We have had some cold nights going down to 34, and they've been fine. I have this box in here, and when I come up in the morning, they're all in the box. So it's been working out really nice to have them crawl into this a lot tighter confinement area, and it holds in their body heat a lot better. They can walk through both sides so they can't get trapped in there or cornered or something so one doesn't get stuck behind the other and can't get out. But it definitely holds their body heat a lot closer together with all 18 birds and it seems to be working out well. Tonight's going to be the real test because it's supposed to drop below 30 but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use some of those hot hand packs that you can squeeze and crush together and turn into heat that we use for hunting and throw them in that box and that way they'll probably sense that warmth and I'll go in there and that'll actually give extra body heat or not body heat but extra heat for them to uh, huddle up against and they're good for 10 hours so that should last all night just for them to uh, just a little bit of supplement heat that I can give them without any electricity so uh, that's what I'm going to do tonight is just throw some hot hands in that box and hopefully that'll get them through this real cold night after that, if we get any freak nights that drop down, then I believe they'll be big enough by that point that they shouldn't have any problem in here. I've been giving them some nice thick bedding. They probably have three inches of bedding in there at this point. And uh, so far it's been working out well. Puppy is just not being very quiet, huh? Puppy's all stressed out. I don't know what he wants. I think he wants to be inside the pen with the chicks, sniffing them around, but uh, I can't have him walking, walking all through there. That's all covered in chick poop, and I don't want the chick poop on his paws and in my house, and uh, I don't want uh, him taking in any wild bird poop and getting my bird sick. So, Sorry, pup. You got to stay on the outside, bud. I have some hand sanitizer up here. Every time I'm done working with the birds, I like to just clean up the hands that way if I start touching anything else before I get back to the house at least I have a little bit of myself cleaned up I'm trying so I'm coming up here to check on the eggers now because it's gonna be real cold tonight there's always a barred rock and an Easter egg over there on the corner, on the edge, all by themselves. The rest perched here, and then the other ones are under the stone. By morning, they'll all be in the cardboard box. So what I'm doing is bringing up some hand warmers, hot hands, and I'm gonna throw these in that box, activated, and it'll give them some supplementary heat to uh, use during the night. Chick, if you keep coming this way, you're gonna tip the whole herd. Gonna drop the whole board on the flock. And I don't think everybody's gonna like that. All right, I'm gonna get out of here before I set off their whole schedule. They're about to fall off that perch though. I can almost guarantee that board's gonna be on the ground by the time I come back tomorrow morning. All right, you be good, Eggers. You stay warm. Let's go, pup. Come on, buddy, come on. Got some geese up here. Hanging out behind the barn at night. There's actually a bunch of them. What are you doing, geese? 
All right, time to go eat dinner. Made some nice kind of garlic aioli pasta. So uh, I'm gonna be trying that out tonight. But I'll check on the eggers in the morning. How you doing, Eggers? You broke your perch. Coming out here after a really cold night to make sure all the Eggers are all right. Echo, relax. Relax, buddy. And they're looking good. It doesn't seem like the cold bothered them at all. They knocked their perch down. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 birds outside of the box. So we are all good. I threw those Threw those little hot hands in here last night, but I want to get in there and pull those out so they don't find them and start pecking at them. Puppy, relax. But that is really good to see that they got all through the night and uh, didn't lose one to the temperature. Here you go, Eggers. Hey, Eggers. Come on, Eggers. Come on, Eggers. Come on, Eggers. Come on, Eggers. Still got a couple that are pretty scared of me. A pretty one. I think the Green Queen's definitely two of the ones that are scared of me. But come on, Eggers. Get in there. You all can get in there. Good. Come on, Ostralorp. Come on, Eggers. Get in there. There we go. I just wrapped the chain around it and put a little uh, trailer pin in it. Now it should uh, not fall over as easy. Pop, are you keeping all the eggers in? Don't let them out that door, Pop. I couldn't raise chicks, these chicks from day one out here because they definitely needed some heat for the first seven weeks because I was raising them here in the late winter and the late winter gets pretty cold here in zone six, western Pennsylvania. And uh, these chicks wouldn't have made it. So I had to give them some supplementary heat in the shed for the first seven weeks. And now that they're, they were eight weeks old, they seem to be fully feathered out. And they're definitely getting some body mass to them now. So I figured they'd be pretty good outside. From everything I read and researched, that eight weeks is pretty much a fully feathered chicken. Uh-uh, stay in there, Bonnie. Stay in there. I know you want to come see me. I'll sit up here. Hey, Bonds. So if you have to put them out into the barn, you might want to wait until eight weeks old when they're fully feathered out and they can actually hold some body heat. Another thing that helped them was that there's 18 chickens here and they can all huddle together to stay warm. And then the third thing that really helped was putting this cardboard box up here in their pen. Bonnie, Bonnie, I don't want to wrangle you. Stay in there, girl. The biggest thing was probably this cardboard box that helped them out. They were able to have the whole space to hang out during the day and then whenever they got really cold, they would go into the cardboard box so their body heat was more localized and contained and I think that really helped them through the colder parts of the night so just trying to give you some ideas if uh, you're trying to get some of your chicks out into the barn you don't have any electric out there either like I don't so if you want to follow along as this homestead comes together then go ahead subscribe down below and hit that like button before you leave it really helps out you can see me and Echo on the next one thanks for watching